Hola everyone, this is Sincere Me One Two, and I just wanted to share a few of the things that I got this week when I went shopping or, you know, found some of the things that I've been looking for. And uh, one of those things has been the OPI Axiom Gel Manicures or Axum. I don't know how to say it, but it's A X X I U M. Um, and it's by OPI and it's a gel manicure. Um, it's supposed to last two weeks and when you take it off, you got to soak it off. Um, I usually never get manicures because my nails chip as soon as a few hours have passed. I have very weak nails and I, for some reason nail polish just doesn't stick. I've used it all and um, it just doesn't work for me. So I had given up on that. I used to use acrylic nails but it got a little bit expensive and then after a while you know if you don't get your nails done every two weeks it just looks a little bit funky to me and um, it's hard for me to do things around the house with two kids and whatever so I decided to stop doing that and like I said I was doing my own manicures but then I was getting frustrated because every time I would do my manicures you know a few hours later there was a chip somewhere so I had stopped doing that also um, so I finally heard of this and I said I need to find a salon by me that actually does it and one of my co-workers actually got it done and she works in the warehouse of the office I work at and she works a lot with her hands so when I seen her nails they were still intact so that really um, persuaded me to go try it out um, I went yesterday it was a little excuse me it was a little expensive but um, if you really look at it, it lasts two weeks, which if you get a manicure every week, it's like $15 to $20. And this was $30. So um, this is the gel manicure. As you can see, it is nice and shiny. I've had it since yesterday. Nothing has chipped. Um, this color is Lincoln Park, and I love it. It's kind of like a dark dark I can't say berry so maybe like a blackberry kind of color but I love it I love 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 dark nail polish so this nail polish for me right now is fun um, so far I've cooked and I've cleaned around the house and it's still intact so that's a that's a big yay for me um, hopefully in two weeks I'll be able to say the same thing so I will keep you guys updated on that um, Another thing I found that I've been looking for forever, um, and I just, I wasn't willing to pay $10 for something so small or even more, so I really wanted to find something in a budget, especially because I live on a budget, so when I saw it, I was like, definitely got to get it, and then it was on sale, it was 40% off, so that was the Wet n Wild Sugar Eyeshadow, and this is from their Icon Collection. This is one of their new colors. Again, it's sugar. And it's like a nice shimmery vanilla. I love it. I love it. I love it. I wanted it for my brow bone and to highlight the inner part of my eye. And basically, you can use it for whatever you want. And I finally found it. I am wearing it today. I've had it on since this morning, and I think it holds up good. It doesn't have too much fallout, and I just think it works for what I want it to work. It works perfectly, and that's the color. And it was $1.99, and I paid maybe $1.25 or $1.29. Excuse the math. I'm not very good at math, but I know it was 40% off. Um, so that was a great buy. Another thing I bought was the Neutrogena Nourishing Eye Duo. Uh, this was on sale. I had not seen it before, but when I went into Walgreens, this one I bought in Walgreens, and I saw it, I said, oh, why not? Let me try it. I've been looking for a nice neutral palette, and this is perfect. Um, this has a base coat, and or a base and an accent, and um, this is the colors. This duo is called Honey Nut, and I've used it already a few times and I love it I love it I love it it has is a base shade um, which conditions and it has soy silk and vitamins A C and E and the accent shade brightens with optical illuminizers 
I really do like it. Um, so far, I've worn it a few times. I actually have it on today. And I think it's a nice way to do neutrals. Um, I pair it with some black eyeliner and I think, you know, it works with every skin tone. So that's a must, a must have. I've had it, like I said, for over a week and I've used it a few times now. <clears throat> Another thing or a couple of more things I have or I got were the Maybelline Expert Wear Eyeshadow. This one is Velvet Crush. And what I like about these eyeshadows is that you can go from a subtle look to a dramatic look. It's your choice. You can use one of the eyeshadows, two, three, or four of them in one look. And it just all look, comes together nicely. I've used all four all together. And I like the look that I got. Um, as I said before in some of my other videos, I am a big fan of dark eyes. So this, this is really good. Um, these are the shades. This is the one that you put on the lid, which is kind of like a silvery lilac. This is the one you put on the crease. It's more of a muted lilac. It's not, you know, it's not a happy lilac, but it's nice. This one is for the brow bone. It's, um, I guess, a mix between a lilac and a vanilla. It's very, very light. And this is the one for the outer corner, which is kind of like a gray a dark gray with some nice shimmer in it so it works really nice together i really do enjoy it i've worn it a couple of times and i'll be doing a video on it soon um another quad that i got from the same line of maybelline is the expert wear eyeshadow amethyst smokes this one is really nice i have not tried it yet but as you guys can see very dark colors and I just think they go great, um, great in the fall and in the winter. Um, I'm going to swatch them for you so you guys can see the colors. And then um, I'll do a video showing you how I use them. Um, this is the color that you place on the lid, which is the dark purple. This is the color for the crease, which is um, a matte kind of grayish purplish color this is the brow bone one and it's a vanilla and this is the outer corner one and this color is black with some some shimmer in it so that that color is fun um, just got to figure out how to use it and make sure that it blends out nicely without looking too crazy uh, so so far I like those two as you can see there are two different quads and they just they look fun so I'm looking forward to continue using them uh, another thing I got from Maybelline and I've been mean, meaning to use it for a while but I had to wait for my other mascara my favorite mascara to finish um, my favorite mascara is the Lash Blast volume from CoverGirl this is my go-to mascara all the time um, but I've been hearing a lot about the Maybelline Falsies and I've been wanting to use it. I uh, finally found it on sale at Walgreens if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I decided to buy it. It was either Walgreens or Rite Aid. I know I paid $4.79 for it and I think the original price is like $7. This is very black and I always like... Um, waterproof mascaras so I went for this one and I love it so far so good it goes on nicely this is the wand as you can see it has kind of like a spoon look um, the wand itself when you go put it on it's flexible so that can be can be a little annoying or even scary when you're putting on your mascara but once you get used to it um, it it works nicely I use I've always used the volume express collection when it comes to mascaras as well besides the the one from covergirl I've always gone to the volume express collection and um, so far this has not disappointed me I've used it a few times now and it works really well I actually have it on today you can build it on, you just can't let it dry between coats because if you do, it will flake off. 
um, and that's it for makeup and uh, I needed some lotion my skin gets really dry especially in the winter and now you know the cooler season is coming so I'm already feeling it and I went and I bought ultimate healing lotion from Walgreens brand works as well or even better as the regular brands comes with a pump this cost maybe $4.99 so I saved like three dollars as you can see nice and creamy it doesn't have a fruity smell I'm not a big fan of fruity lotions um, and this one actually has a nice clean scent fruity lotions to me tend to bother my sinuses and I do have sinus problems so after a while when I use fruity lotions they just they kill me and I do have a few and I rarely use them I probably used them once or twice so this is a really good um, this is a really good buy and it compares to the ingredients of Jergens Ultra Healing so this is good stuff there and then last but not least um, I've been meaning to clean my brushes for a while now but I ran out of the baby shampoo and I went today and I found this one by Johnson is the new Johnson's natural head to toe foaming body wash 80% natural um, I like using baby shampoo or baby washes to clean my brushes because they tend to be a lot more gentle than some of the soaps and stuff that you can use on your brushes. Uh, it has no, no allergens, which is another thing. Um, you know, I have kind of sensitive skin when it comes to my face and soaps and stuff like that, so this works really good. And it's fragrance free. So you don't have to worry about a strong smell on your brushes. Uh, it is the foaming kind of body wash. So, you know, you don't have to put a lot on your hand. And it smells nice and clean. And it smells like a baby. So, um, I'm, I'm liking it already. So that's basically all the things I got this week. Um gonna do shortly a video in a few minutes of how I wash my brushes because they're due for a wash I try to do it every two or three weeks and in between that I take a wipe and um, after I'm done putting on my makeup I just take the wipe let's just say this is the wipe I take the wipe oops sorry and just clean my my brushes on it so um it's just it's time for them to be clean uh, but thank you for watching if you have any questions on it, of any uh, excuse me if you have any questions on any of the products that I just showed feel free to ask I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that come my way thank you